Hey, 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 how you doing? How you living? I hope something has happened already today that makes you smile. I hope you had a real big belly laugh today. Did you laugh? All right, you know what I said before. Children laugh about a thousand times a day. Adults, they laugh about 15 times a day. That we have to narrow the gap and find things to laugh about, make you smile. It's healthy for your emotions, okay? So before we leave today, I want you to take a real deep breath and crack up laughing, okay? Laugh. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk about setting sprays. Setting sprays. And I have a few of my favorite setting sprays right here. I have my Kat Von D Lock and Load. I have that one. I have my CoverGirl Look Lock Up. I have that one. I have my Make It Dewy, and that's what I sprayed on today. But I see some separating in here. I see a lot of separating, but that may not be due to this. This is oily, luminous, moisturizing, shiny, and it will separate, but I don't think that's why. I've been playing with it. Um, I have my Splash Hydrating Setting Mist by Alginist. Love this. And I have a little sample that I'm trying of Tarte Rainforest of the Sea setting spray. And I think I have uh, two more setting sprays. I have the, um, it's one more that I use. Oh, it fell down here on the floor. Here it is. You know, it's no, it doesn't happen until you get ready to... Uh, start filming and then things start disappearing i have my morphe continuous setting spray and i have a max studio that i think i got this from um uh, darn oh my god that felt like a train hit my face mm -mm. and i have this one by max studio not fun i also have the um this is not a, a setting spray but i do have the mario badescu and i'm my eyes are running across here because it's one more that i feel like i am missing um i have a primer miss that's not it i'm missing one and i don't know what it is but we're gonna go with these setting sprays are used to set your makeup in place I don't think a setting spray goes good without a good primer. So I think primer stops your makeup from moving and a good sticky like hairspray um, finishing mist will stop your makeup from moving about your face. Now what makes your makeup move about your face that makes people say, you know, you need a setting spray because back in the day there was no such thing as a setting spray. So now as technology has evolved, times have changed and all of this and all of that, these things um, have come to be that people have made better uh, products. So that's my gist on how setting sprays have come into spray because uh, come into a play. Um, we used to set our hair with Final Net. Now the black version of Final Net. Final Net was would would get you them them those hard crimps back in the day, and then when we went to finger waves and things like that and hard ponytails and them hard swoop overs that you see that wouldn't move patty labelle all of that came into play for the black people when they started using that pump it up well now we have the same idea quote end quote the same idea when it comes down to keeping our makeup from moving what'll make your makeup move is perspiration sweat uh, moisture temperature change is the number one number one thing that will make your makeup move excuse me it will make your makeup move in a minute you hear me in a minute it will make your makeup move so uh going in and out of buildings cold and hot and cold and hot it just makes your melt up your, your makeup shift move i've seen it uh here i got something going on i see a moisture right here but i've been playing in my makeup before i made this uh, before I turned the camera on, I've been playing with a lot of different things. So I can't say that one thing or one uh, particular product made my makeup sh uh, shift. But if you look really closely, I have a dry spot right here. 
Well, what adds to that is the type of skin that you have, the type of moisturizer that you use, the type of primer that you use. And some people don't use setting spray. I use setting uh, spray in the summertime a lot more than in the wintertime because in the summertime, it's hot. You're going into hot air and you're going to sit into your cold car and then maybe a cool building and then, you know, hot then you have the tendency for your makeup to shift, separate, break, um, that kind of thing. Oily combination skin, dry skin. Uh, I have a normal to dry skin. I have very dry skin here, dry here, and then in here, out here, I have just normal, normal skin. But in the center, towards the center of my face, I have very dry skin. It'll even peel and uh, I can scratch it and I have large pores. So I have a whole lot going on with my skin. I have to take very uh, specific care with the products that I use. So my number one, my number one, it doesn't seem like it's this. It doesn't seem like it's this. As I was getting prepared, I felt a little, um, I felt, oh, I have another setting spray by NYX. This is for full. I didn't even use this one. Is this it? Oh, I feel so lost. I feel so lost. I have a couple of them. A couple of them. My number one that I use more than anything is this uh, uh, Kat Von D uh, Lock and Load. Hmm, I feel like I'm forgetting something and I just don't know what it is. It's not coming to me, but it is on the tip of my tongue. It is on the tip of my tongue. Something that I use on a regular basis and I cannot find which one it is and it's not in there at any rate let's move along let's move right along um let's see what this one feels like that one feels okay that one feels okay it smells just like the lock it up and then the uh this one i find good just because of it's an aerosol spray it doesn't work any less or more than the regular um wet spray it's just that you can just not pump your finger if you like that then you know more power to you but that does not make that a better product my number one product is uh this Kat Von D um this one I've used I need to use it a little more often and then if you like a dewy look now I do like a dewy look because I'm a dry girl so this right here I can't say necessarily that it doesn't make your makeup slip move adjust slide give you light or dark spots i can't say that because this is going to make you shine like a penny if you want to shine like a penny then this is it and some girls love it i'm one of those girls i don't like that matte look i don't like that dry look i like it on you i just don't like it on me when i see other women and girls and young girls and i'm like oh wow that matte lipstick with that matte makeup she looks gorgeous but when i look at my own face i don't like how that looks um so i love this i only have a drop of this left in here i can hear it so it's time for me to up a uh, um get up on my game and go get some more of this i love this i will always uh buy this product this is a yes ma'am all day long these two are the ones that i use i just bought this in my ultra haul if you saw my ultra haul i just bought this would i buy it again probably i i probably i would because i like the manufacturer i like morphe i like the way this product has uh been put into play i do like the can the aerosol i don't like it any more than this but i like that it is an aerosol that's good if you want to stop your makeup from moving or whatever um it's very light though it is very light um and i think it works i, I don't i don't have a lot of slippage i just use this as a final um final uh, um, stage in the game is what I'm trying to say. When I'm finished my makeup and I look at it and I think to myself, oh, I want to hold on to this look. Don't let nothing happen. Then I spray it. Not because I feel like something is going to happen, but I feel like I feel like something won't happen if I do use it. I hope you understand that. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So I don't. Uh, I bought this. I have yet. I have, this is the third one I bought with every intention on using it. But this is number three that I bought. 
and I haven't used it, but it keeps going on sale. And I said, let me get it. And I just have not got around to using it. But this has nothing but rave reviews. This is not a setting spray. This is just to give you, um, and I, I'm not going to try to read this writing. Y'all know I am the absolute world's worst when it tries to, when it comes to reading it. It's missed onto your, this says missed onto hair, face, and skin throughout the day as needed. So you definitely know that this is not a setting spray. This is one of those feel good. If you get hot and you need a little pick me up and you need to cool down, you can spray your face. Or if you're feeling just some kind of a way, you can definitely um, use that. Um, I have not used this. This is full all the way to the top. So I need to give this, I need to leave this out so that I can use this. Um, this one was a this is half gone and this is probably like a 0.5 or something like that i don't know very very small but they gave me this as a free gift at sephora sephora this was okay would i buy it again no not at all it's too much going on on here out here for me to try to spend a whole lot of money on setting spray um i think i even got my favorite which is this is just a drop of this it's just a drop of this not le uh, left um, it's just a drop of it. So I'm not going to uh, spend a lot of money on that. This is not a product that I would spend a lot of money on. So that is a no all day long. If it's $5, $6, I'll get it. This, everybody knows, you don't. You can look up this. This is $15 in every altar. Um, unless you have a $3.50 off, you're going to spend $15. And then you may spend, what, $11.50, $12.50 or something like that on it and yes i probably would purchase this again because it's easy that's probably why i would purchase that this alginist i loved it i loved it something is missing as it relates to this because this is not the original spray i have so much makeup and things going if you see me my eyes are just scanning the horizon i changed this little pump bottle for something else i was trying and it it came out really hard and i put it in this trying to save this for my for the uh next big big event that i had going on because i want to save this this is some good stuff would i buy the alginus brand again all day um especially if i if i could get a small one i have no idea where i got this from but i love it love it make it last dewy if you like dewy you will love that um i have used this a couple of times this was 3.99 i got it from tj maxx it did what it's supposed to do if it's supposed to hold your makeup and stop it from moving then get this i don't think one works more than the other one but there are some that is just next to water i'm sure that there are i'm sure that there are some that are just next to water period and you don't want to um, buy it but it hasn't been these this uh l'oreal infallible spray this was good this was a very very good one those are small testers have no idea where i got it from this is also filled to the top um i don't like the uh that can't look at that y'all see that see how that comes out on there there's no way in the world nobody wants you can't this is not a mist i would have to change the top of it just to get it so i can't tell you that this is a primer setting spray um primer meaning this is going to stick it has a sticky agent in it so you can set your face first with any even even with this uh morphe you can set your face first and then put it uh put your makeup on and it's still going to do the same thing i haven't used that one because i need to change it cover girl like i said very uh very good it, it worked for 3.99 it, it uh, worked, and this one is full to the top. So it's some that I have to try. Those are my setting sprays. What kind of setting spray do you use? What kind of setting spray do you use? Um, tell me about it while this is Vlogmas going on. I hope you are enjoying your days coming up to Christmas. And don't forget on your journey that Jesus is the reason for the season. It's his birthday. Not yours, boo. Not yours, all right? Journey well. Thanks so much.